we're going to be doing some questions regarding the applications of quadratic functions. Okay, so if we have a read of this question, a stone is thrown into the air. Its height above the ground, t seconds after it is thrown, is given by this equation. Okay, so height with t as its function is equal to our quadratic minus negative uh, 4 t squared plus 32 t plus 2 meters. Okay, so we can think of this as height and we can think of the t as uh, the seconds after it has been thrown. So, how high is the stone above ground at t is equal to 2? Okay, so like I said, this is uh, represented by the height and t is represented by the amount of seconds after it's been thrown. Okay, so it tells me, okay, well, what's the height when t is equal to 2? Well, what we're going to do, we're going to sub t is equal to 2, okay, into my quadratic. So, if I sub t is equal to 2, okay, so the height there is going to be um, this quadratic when t is equal to 2. So, if we simplify and calculate this value, we get it was 50 meters high. What about when from the, what height above the ground was the stone released? Okay, so when... Okay, again, we're going to try and find the height, okay, but we have to find what the time is as well. Okay, so when the stone was released, uh, t was equal to zero. Okay, so initially, okay, at the start, okay, what was the height of, uh, what was the height above the ground? So when t is equal to zero, okay, we're going to sub it into all the values here, it, that's t. Okay, so this is going to be it. So if we simplify this, we just get my height is two meters. Okay, so when t is equal to zero, we have the height of two meters. Now in part C, at what time is the stone 50 meters above the ground? Okay, so in this uh, part, they gave us what the height was, but we need to find at what time it was. Okay, so we're going to find t in this case. Okay, so the height is 50. So, our height is 50, so let's put 50 into our height. Okay, and we're going to try and solve this for t. Okay, so at what time? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move 50 to the other side to make it all equal to 0. Then I get this long, complicated looking quadratic. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide everything by negative 4. Okay, so I'm going to divide this by negative 4, negative 4, and negative 4. Okay, that makes it look a lot more easier. So t squared minus 8t plus 12 equals to 0 is my quadratic. And I want to factorize this. Okay, so quadratic factorize. So what are two numbers that give me a product of 12 but give me a sum of negative 8? Okay, this is how we're going to factorize it. So negative 2 and negative 6. So uh, t minus 2 multiplied by t minus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, then that means this bracket must equal to 0 or this bracket must equal to 0. Meaning my value of t, t is either 2 or t is either 6. Okay, so at what time is the stone 50 meters above the ground? It's uh, when after 2 seconds and after 6 seconds.